Okay, I think this is the best chance we're gonna get though. And foot no. already up there. I mean, they came off strong in the previous game. They might as well get themselves a proper in the city of Saki ending. Mega spotting Kasu. He's all the way up here. Mega, he's got one of his own. Right, not sure who's trespassing where. Or someone, um, we're, we're not gonna see it in esports too soon, but like someone diving off a building, Assassin's Creed style on that Destin. That too, yes, that yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold Silas? that board for a second. Silas spots one and will makes he trigger happy. Found one, unfortunately found him. James two. And the issue is they're being shot at, but it seems to me like it should be able to get James to safety. They're all right. <laughs> they just, you know, they got the, they got the cheers. They're, 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 they're I mean, could you argue that James overpeaked? Giria is trying to stop its Chris from getting just there. These two teams have already fought this mm -hmm. game. And interestingly, Mike has stopped the fight back. Pink Pony have to get out of there now. Oh, this is, Mike. Uh, they're so split. Yeah, Mike and Pro down trying to dodge the bullets coming through and the vehicles coming his way. Unfortunately, he manages to do so. Issue is, with him sitting where he is, he's going to be in trouble himself. Everyone now fighting on the southern side of the ruins area. BBL, full speed forward. They go, they find one, they take one casualty, but no flush confirmed just yet. So they might just be able to get all four back up alive. And here comes Sabilla, last pony to try and make a run for it. And just not really anywhere to play from. Could have probably made a play, but let's see now. Footballers and fellas over on the side of Everest. Miracle is there, ready and waiting on the other side. Shot comes through. Michael finds one. Miracle finds the other two. Down from footballers instantly. Iro peeks over. Can't find the first. Those find one on the second spray, though. And uh, the fellas are continuing to enjoy high ground advantage over foot esports. And I think that's going to be the yeah. difference maker here. Fellas, with a res on Miracle, will be able to continue the game with all four alive. So they're doing a very, very good job. Foot Esports, once that fight started, they tried to make the best of it, but the high ground advantage was just too much. Tricky situation to be in, no doubt about it. Frenchy now down as well over Peekers, joining in the fight here, helping out Pink Venom just a little bit. In the meantime, Ascent trying to push on forward. That's three down from Exalt in a second. Chris now forwards too, but look at the damage coming through from Kiliakai. All of them managed to stay alive. And once again, I mean, Pink Venom 2v4, they are getting a little bit of help from over Peekers, but they're making this work. Yeah, on Grind weren't sure how many members of Pink... They're still not sure how many members of Pink Venom there are here. They know that there are multiple players, but they don't know if it's two, three, or four right now. Oh. And maybe they've been a bit more timid in their approach. Getting next is a huge help. There's only one player left standing. But again, how much does on Grind know? Look at them. They're being very, very conservative with their approach. Heavens, wondering if there's another angle. There isn't. He just has one player to focus on. Exactly. Try to go for the flush. Wants to get it, but smart play from next to really stay down below. Unfortunately, peeks out in the open for a bunch of seconds. Roxy will get it, but at the loss of a player. Um, good info, though, for the rest of you following Pink Venom. Katie has found a car and is now by Chopsticks. Yay! So he will get there eventually. Let's Unfortunately, go. just short. So, um... It's tricky, right? You've got a couple of small houses and the next circle is essentially on one big uphill incline. Mm. So ideally you want to be in like a 10 o'clock position where you've got cover and you can look down on everyone else, but it's easier said than done. Once you get there, it's great, but rotating into that position on the high ground. Uh, as soon as you have two teams contesting it, I think it's virtually impossible for a third to come in and really stick their nose in. And uh, first mover's advantage is going to be big here in phase five. Team elite in trouble. And once again, it's Katie doing all the damage needed to find the Nox. Five kills for Pink Venom. I mean, when we saw them getting Boom. butchered by a Scent Club on the melee bridge of all places early, we did not, at least I didn't, think they were going to amount to this much. But Katie and Rox, they have done everything they could to stay put. And let's see if they're going to continue to do so. Scream, bullets fired now. He's been seen. Still has a little bit of foliage to work with. But Rox, she ain't going to allow for that to happen. And he goes down. Team Elite out in 12th and six kills now for Pink Venom. This is a delightful stuff. I love, by the way, that so many people are egging them on, but Pink Venom's route in game number two, sadly, is going to come to a dead end here at the hands of Ascend. They're camped out themselves, unfortunately, as Overpeakers are looking around. Brexco getting bolted by Clib, and I'm not sure how much longer they'll survive either. Yeah, we're running down on very, very low timers here. Elliot finds one over the top. That's Code Marco down and out, so shots fired at a distance but because of the terrain here bbl can't really do a whole lot to try and punish them forward shots being fired but even if an up comes through i'm not sure they're going to be able to make the push on up ascent does 
go out in the end as well. Ninth place we for go. them. And not until now are we making our way into placement points. Phase five and only 26 players alive. Is this NA or EU? I'm not sure anymore. I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm loving all of the early game action for sure. Navi and BBL, only one of these teams, based on where they are now, will be able to move into the next circle from Ruins. And they have to fight out. They have to buy time with those knocks, and they have to make their way in in order to be that team. Navi have got a bit of a high ground advantage, but if they keep going up the hill they're on right now, the top of that hill, Toby, is really flat, and the third party potential is huge. So it's a big risk for Navi to do that, which is why I think they're going to go down in the trenches. Yep, smart play from Navi to make the wrap around here. They know that Austrian force are busy on the other side, so they can third party them. Alia lops one on over, finds one with the Mully as well. Paints now down there to elsewhere. And as we see in Tropic, try and push on through. But once again, Clip, that's got to be his connected shot wow. with the car number 9 or 10 in this game. So much bold action damage coming through from Clip in this match, and it has been such a high impact on the team's ability to wrap on forward as well. I mean, every single time Ascent Club tried to make a play, they were taken out. And now, Smash again. We saw him last game. The amount of impact he would have had, or he had in that match. Here he comes against Navi too. Navi taking more and more space. And Smash allowing them to take that space until he's in the position they need him to be. And beautiful Molotov as well. And coupled with that bullet is going to put Smash down. So important for Navi to get that frag. And I think Vendelos is going... Is he going for the insta revive? No, he's going to try and re-peak instead. Doesn't work. Navi secure this position. But it looks like with only two alive. Yeah, just try and dodge and weave on this. I mean, unfortunately, not going the way they would have wanted it to. If they see win or die getting knocks on GDE, they would probably try and make a play. There comes the first one. Unfortunately, again, kill still the ones to do the damage. Roast the Marnates on both sides. Eardrums exploded. But fortunately, not gone down in health because of it. Spot scoots over the top. Can't find the knock. Does find the knock. Sorry. Over the top extends the single wow, player nice. left alive but the smoke's just not allowing him to get the angle <laughs> roosted bar uh very ballsy play there low health a low helmet low vest and he still goes can, can i get that last bullet in? Two. just want to double check yeah and there's really good uh really good instincts from him yeah. just wanting to see can i finish the fight now if i can't and it's gonna drag on fine i'll heal up but if there's a way for me to get this over with now, that helps the rest of my team as well. And all of this happens because he had Michael over the hilltop. Because he knew as long as Michael is present on the west side uphill, there's no way that we're going to get pushed from above. So I will play on this rock. I will utilize this as best as I can until we have to make a play. Now is the time though when they have to make the run on forward. Michael finds Goose, extends single play left alive. But now it's also when we're seeing over peakers start heading in this direction. 25 minutes and into the final five teams here. Uh, eight kills so far for the fellas in this game, and all four of them are alive. That is big, big news. The rest of Na'Vi now going back up in their rematch what? against GDE. Better positioning for Na'Vi this time around. Alia manages to get the first spray, nice. but you cannot afford to trade like that in a 2v4. And Na'Vi won't get that extra point on the board, I don't think, as they go out in fifth. Um, just a couple of Molotovs at the odd smoke or two, trying to work out exactly what angles everyone's at. And I think... Uh, Miracu really is in the best position there to feed information yeah. to the rest of the team. Rustamar and Tixu are coming in to be close quarters, but Miracu is going to be able to spot the flags. He's going to see who the anchor is and just, just suppress those snipers. Unfortunately, though, for them, it's Zamal who manages Ooh. to get the first knock. This what? is not going good at all for the fellas. GDE holding off. Smokes were coming through. Nates were coming in, but the smokes being used played out perfectly for GDE. Everyone I thought won. this had gotten fellas written all over it, but no. Yes. GDE prevails and most importantly, they don't take a single a single casualty in all of this. Still four up. Miraku now solo player left alive. No lethal utilities. Only five bandages to work with. Those but one though. How fast can they return? He's trying to use the smokes before they give out so that he can pick them off one at a time. It's a good strategy, but unfortunately, it won't pay off on this occasion. Kill still will get that final headshot, and that's the fellas out in fourth place. But they have had an excellent game, and they've done that beautifully. Next circle, overpeakers are in zone. Nobody else is. We see teams do this so often. Get the smoke line up, get within Nate range, and now start Ooh. lopping them forward. Unfortunately, no knocks come through that one. Close enough, finds Vasco, doesn't get to heal. Second one, does it find paints? No, bounces a bit too far. Jeans, now behind the tree, will stay alive, but I'm looking towards GDE, curious to see them not engaging more. Now it does, but one shot coming through and Jeans goes down. 
And GDE here with the third party could turn the tide of this fight. Jeez. Austrian force only have one left alive. Nope, kill still is going to stop <laughs> like, that as well. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> stop that in its tracks. Overpeak is GDE. This is going to be a 3v3 fight for the chicken dinner in game number two. They have the rich to work with, but only for so much longer. Not Waft peeking all over, seeing what he can find, but there just ain't anything happening in Overpeakers. While their name would uh, say otherwise, they're smart and kind of holding back, knowing that they have to peek on over. No reason to do the aggressive peek as long as the opponents still have cover. Now just the three to work with can't hide from both of them, but we'll see it on the side. Clip peeks on over Big. full level three gear to work with as well. This has got an over peekers written all over it. Exactly. The over peekers comms will be saying they know there's one in the smoke here. Mixie's got him covered, and they should know that the other player isn't okay. with him, so they've got them split. Keep eyes out. No! Oh. Kill still could spoil the party. Beautiful turn from Clip. He's been dealing with those bolt actions all game long, and he's done something different here. Lovely spray, and he adds to his kill count. Ice boy, solo player trying to keep his team in this one, trying to get the win. 1v2 now versus Vard versus Clip. They know of his approximate position in a second. They will know exactly where he is because there's only really one smoke and one tree left for cover. Not going to happen. They go down, but great performance from GD. In the end, though, over Pegas, 10 kill wins. Solid performance from the former Liquid Boys.